Okay, this, this lathe is a, it's called the tool room lathe, and it's got some cool features that I haven't shown you yet. Well, some of you I haven't shown you. So, if you don't know how to write CNC programs like we're doing, learning, there's actually a uh, way that you can write one just knowing what we've already talked about with threads. Who has a quarter inch piece of something that we can cut on? All right, so we're going to use the threading tool, just like we would over on the manual machines. You would have to have your thread relief cut. So let's cut a thread relief real fast. tool that we use on the manual aid, right? I'm not going to get too carried away with measuring this right now, but we'll go over how it will sit. Because when you, when you do your, if you do your thread over here, I'm going to have you, uh, Cut your thread relief and your lead angle over on the manual edge first. We're just going to touch right there. Normally, we'd come here and we'd set the offset for this. Do our diameter of 0.245 and our length right here. So I just told you that was zero. And then we would have to go in 60 thousandths. And you could do it with that just by reading 60 thousandths. We started at 30 and went into. about the spindle speed of on the manual legs, what did I tell you? It's going to be reminding me as slow as possible. About as slow as possible. Okay, here we're going to go to hand jog and cancel. When we come up with this manual mode thing, you notice we've got set up, we've got chamfer. We can actually turn a chamfer on here really easy. Turn and face mode, we've got chamfer radius, drilling, and threading. So we select threading and it comes up OD, ID, OD thread repair, ID thread repair. Um, repairing a thread with a CNC is going to be tough to do. You have to get everything lined up perfectly. So we're not going to worry about that. You're not going to be doing it in this class anyway. But we are going to cut an OD thread. So let's just say we want to cut an OD thread. Um, our tool number is basically whatever we want to call this tool number, we're going to call it tool number one. Our work fixture offset is G54, just like on the mill. Our Z start point is how far out here past, now it's got this nice little diagram too, right? <coughs> this is kind of what Dee was talking about before class over on the, it'd be nice to have a little computer that just had all this stuff. So all you do is you push next and it shows you what operation and how to do it, which would really be awesome. Um, so we're going to start at Z0. Our thread length then is going to be back here. And Z0, I've actually got it about 60 thousandths past the end. And this should be about a quarter of an inch long on yours. So you would have to set it up a little bit more accurately probably than I'm doing if you want to thread it. But our thread length. I'm going to say it's 300. 
Um, our minor diameter, what's the minor diameter on this quarter 20? All right, Kara, you were the last one to cut a quarter 20 thread. What's the minor diameter that you cut? Thread relief diameter did you cut? 190,000. 190,000, thanks. So we're going to put that in. Where'd you get that? Where did you get the 190,000 from? Out of the machinery's handbook. Out of the machinery's handbook. Okay. What's our major diameter? <coughs> Whoa. Did I just skip past? Major diameter is what? Quarter inch. Quarter inch. <coughs> What's TPI stand for? Threads per inch. Threads per inch. Depth of cut. So this be. 15 is quite a bit. We can go 15 on the first cut. I'm just going to drop that down to, let's just go 7. Spindle speed, we'll leave it at 1,000. We don't have any taper. We don't have to worry about. Zero is for a right-handed thread. One is for a left-handed thread. And chamfer, we don't have a chamfer. So right here, we basically put in all the information that it needs on a push cycle stop. Yeah, it's moving over because I told it was zero. Actually, what I did is I didn't tell it where zero was at on this one. So I got to set up my tooling and offsets and stuff before. So I'm going to go right here. Yeah, you tell can't it. See, see where that white right here is. It's right there. <laughs> so what I did is I, if you could see this, I, I just set it so that it was about 60 thousandths out in front of the tool, or the tool is out in front of the part. I'm going to touch and tell what diameter it's on on this one. I did on that other one almost, but I didn't really on that one either. Go ahead and just touch. Okay, so this diameter right here is going to be, um, I'm going to say it's 249 right there. Now we're ready to cut our thread. So if I go back here to hand jog, all of our stuff, all of our information should still be in there. But if I go to MDI right here, you see a little program. What does it say? How to make a thread. It says OD thread. So what it did is it took our information and actually put our information in as a program in the MDI portion of this. So if I were to run this from MDI, it would run right there as well. So, how long did it take you to cut your thread? Did you stand here and talk like this? A lot longer than she wanted it to. Way longer. So anyway, the nice thing, the thing that I like the most about CNC lathes is threading. And this is why. I don't have to stop and pull this out, lift this lever, and set this dial, and make sure that it's on this number every time. The bad thing about it is that this thread's probably not going to come out exactly right in that pin again. But that happens over here too. So the, the hardest thing is once you get your tools set up so that they're cutting the thread right, then they're really, really fun and they're pretty quick. It's taking a long time because I put seven thousandths in for a depth of cut. I think what we'll do is um, change that because I, I'm, I bet it's taking less than that each cut as it goes. And it's just going. Kara probably got hers done quicker than you. You were done by now, weren't you? All right, we'll grab that wing mat, will you? Let's just see if it's good. That still seems fairly fast. Okay, let's make it faster, shall we? <laughs> so right here, we can edit our program just like it was a regular program. D is our depth of cut. So it's too close. To it. I'm going to change this D to fifteen thousandths. And I'm going to change the spindle speed up here to, let's go, 2,000. 
And the thing on this, the only thing on the CNC's that's a problem is you can actually tell it um, by having too high of an RPM. You can tell it to go faster than the machine can go. And most of the time you just get an alarm. I don't know what'll happen on this one. We'll, we'll see. So I'm gonna go back here to hand jog. Just move this away. Let's see if our thread came out. Perfect. This is the wrong size aluminum. It would have to be a 1032 for that one. But that's okay. It's the bigger one of the two. It's up there, uh, Russell, in that in that little rack right under the thread wire. We probably should measure this one would be better with the thread wire because if it was off a little bit, we just change the the X offset on our X um, our tool offsets. See, so we're a little bit tight, a lot of bit tight. And usually, it's about six thousandths on this. So what I'm going to do is instead of changing the program, I'm just going to go minus five thousandths right here. And it wouldn't normally be five thousandths. Again, you would measure this over the thread wires in our case. Or if you had a pitch micrometer, which is a regular micrometer with a little B and an anvil that was pointed, you could measure them without the thread wires. And then we're ready to go again. So we back to MDI. Notice that it's not really touching yet. Well, maybe a little bit. So we probably didn't get started in the same spot, and that a lot of that was because of the spindle speed change here. But a little quicker than last time. Let's see if this is. And did it do its own? Uh, how much we call it? Can it stop? Relief. No, no you get that first. I put the thread relief well, in before. I noticed when I looked in here, it's got that little ridge right between the thread relief and the threads. So you never actually put the thread relief. Yeah, that's because I didn't tell you about it. Okay. But it stopped in exactly the same spot every time. Yeah. So really, do you need a thread relief on a CNC? But you would have one on your axle, right? Of course. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. All righty. Actually, our thread relief on our axles are make it so our wheels don't screw on too far. Right? Okay, so that's one quick and easy way to cut an external thread without even knowing how to write a program. Right? All you have to do is know the important things about the threads which you actually wrote down on your piece of paper the, a while back. I should have given back to you by now. Um, the John actually checked the other day. So Anyway, um, quick and easy, a lot of cool things about CNC's. That's one of the quick and easy comments.